Yeah. It's true, Cindy. That's what happened. Really funny. It's just funny imagining people... They're just literally me. They're literally just... Literally just fucking Ryan Gosling posting. In the fucking 17, 1800s. Yes, it is the hockey. It's the one you want to have sex with. Guys, it's, it's very funny because Cindy doesn't know what he's doing right now. Cindy doesn't know why what he's doing right now. The, the message he just sent is really funny and he doesn't know why. He's fucking Ryan... He's fucking Ryan Gosling posting, dude. I think Evelyn is more into Heath Ledger. At least my sister is. We're talking actual cutouts of... Uh, actual, like, uh, paper cutouts of... Uh, Heath Ledger on her wall. What is it, like Heath Ledger? No, no, she watched uh, the best Heath Ledger movie. Uh, 10 Things I Hate About You. In which Heath Ledger looks really fucking hot. He was hot back then. He didn't have time. He didn't have time to stop being hot. He died before he... Before he declined. Was <laughs> it like having a hot back? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Lake Elf Water Magnus. Um... Yeah! Yeah, he died like... He died like two weeks after he was born, yeah. No, well, that's next game. But yeah, might actually be one of my favorite movies. I watched, I only saw it once. But uh, Ten Things I Hate, hate About You is actually uh, very good. No, no, Cindy. It's better than fucking across the Spider Verse, that's for sure. <laughs> I think one, fl one flaw about knowing many things is that you're always in the cock and you're just done in Kruger Curve. Uh, look, William. You're calling me stupid. The reason you call me stupid is that you actually act offended whenever I uh, cockily talk about something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But the reason you call me cocky now out of nowhere is because you're actually offended and you go around thinking about that and being resentful against me. Towards me. I actually go around carrying dislike and resentment. Because I have argued with you on the bus a couple times. Of course I'm cocky. Why wouldn't I be fucking cocky and arrogant? If I believe something, it's because I think it's right. No, William, William, you don't have to apologize. I'm cocky because I think it's funny. It's a... it's a... It's a deliberate choice. Wait, why do you bring that up now? Is it because of the Across the Spider-Verse thing? Guys, let's make let's 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 come up with a person that doesn't exist so we can be mad at this person that doesn't exist. Um person who watched and enjoyed Evangelion up until the last two episodes got really disappointed in the finale and decided not to watch End of Evangelion. Because of how disappointed he was with the two last episodes. Let's make fun of that guy who doesn't exist. I mean, the, the person probably exists. There's definitely people who've done that, but I don't know anyone, and there's no reason to think about it. But I just thought about that right now. It's really funny making up uh, people who don't exist. And being mad at them. It's like my main thing to do. Isn't that all we do, basically? Because we can never truly know someone. So when we know someone and we're mad at them, what we're actually doing is we're making up a character in our heads based on the characteristics of this person that we know about, but we can't really know them. So anytime you're mad at anyone, you're just making up a character, a character in your head. And being mad at this fictional punching bag that you made up. The real fiction, the real most dangerous fiction, is real life. Pita. Oh, I had like four bombs as well, I just lost four fucking bombs. Finally, doing the same same difficult as me. Yeah, it's it's more difficult for me though because uh, oh lord, have beaten this yet? Welcome to stream, by the way. Sorry for the the loudness you just heard a second ago. Yeah, I've been going through every single game since the PS98 games because I've I realized that I've been online all these years and I've seen all the Toho memes and all the characters and heard all the songs because that's what happens if you're online long enough. It happens. So I just figured, fuck it, let's just play the games. So I did the the craziest thing you can ever do, which is uh, start 
with the first game. So I'll just be going through all the games until I get a 1cc and then moving on. And let me tell you, this one is definitely the toughest yet. And I played number five. Everyone in chat always said like, oh yeah, no, Mystic Square is the, probably the hardest one to uh, one CC. Tell Saki I said hi, because I can't bring myself to face trauma from her grinning face again. Uh, what I care about the most is fucking... My trauma with her is uh, the, uh, the lazy eye. Her lazy eye is my trauma. We are back. I don't like pausing during the stage too much because uh, it fucks up the timing of the music with the stage, you know? So all the key changes and all those moments don't happen when the when the boss arrives and such. Which makes me sad. Oh, did not expect to survive that. I don't have any bombs either, so I'm gonna get hit. I feel like I'm gonna get hit soon. Yeah, now, right about now. Nice. Three waves before before they start shooting. Three waves before they start shooting. So two. Never mind, it's two. Fuck. waves before they start shooting. I don't think I've ever actively like struggled like this in a game for a long time. Must have been a long while ago. Celeste maybe? I'm probably, I'm probably gonna be happier about beating this than beating some of the harder parts of Celeste. Mega Man? Oh, yeah. But... Mega Man... Mega Man was definitely harder. Well, I don't know if it was harder. But, um... Uh, no, it was definitely harder. But, like, this actual feeling of I'm, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this thing. I have to beat the shit out of this thing. That feeling. I never wanted to beat a game. That's not true. What I'm trying to say is, I think I'm gonna be really happy when I beat this game. And then PCB is apparently rather easy compared to this. And then everyone just likes Imperishable Knight, so I'm looking forward to that one as well. 
I've just been stuck on this fucking game forever. That's the that's the thing. Nice. Metal fatigue. It's bombing time. Right about soon. Banger music, amazing. Ah. Just all the way over there. Almost gooby to death there. Nice. Nice. Four mil. Nice. Sake coming up. It's time to fumble. It's time to fumble the shit out of this, guys. Are you ready? Alright, let's start in the middle here. Mr. Rexford is fine, as long as I have one bomb. Which I probably... I fucking bombed. I fucking bombed. I actually didn't just say that to save face. Then I had to bomb there. I could have survived that easily. This uh, this entire stage just scares me. There's a there's a mental block here. Are you ready? I'm not. No fuck all the way around. Actually, I it's a bit tough. But one bomb is enough. One up, give me that, I need that. And I moved around too much. It's all close again. I move around too much trying to collect all the shit. So I'm just gonna be surrounded by bullets now. All over. Thing is, only one or two bullets on screen actually matter at any given time. See all those bullets on the other side of the screen for me? Doesn't matter. They're not gonna hit me, they're not even heading my way. They're just there to fuck you up and look good. And I'm just gonna freeze time and shit now. Nice.
Fuck, come on, I bombed. Get the small ones, get the small ones. That way you get rid of bullets. Because you get uh, full power later. Whoa! That one started going up towards me. Nice attack. Where'd you get it from? The attack store? There we go. One death is... Pretty on par for me. Oh lord. Oh lord, oh god. Okay. My head is not in the game. And the worst part is this bitch only drops a fucking bomb. I guess a well-placed bomb is an extra life. The run. The run. The run. Death one's hard, you know? Oh yeah, I know. Welcome to chat, by the way. It's not, something, it's not something you should uh, rely on, death bombing. I'm just a little bit conservative with when I bomb, leading to me dying. I just got an extra life, sick. Extra life means uh, three more bombs. I hate this attack. I hate this attack. I hate this attack. It bothers me. The blur. Okay, yeah, no. I hate most of these attacks.
I haven't played any single games. I've been playing them since the start. I've only played one, two, three, four, five, six. So not since the start. What I mean, I started with the first game and then. So I'm like 30 fucking games away from 219. Though it's a Phantasmagoria like, and I didn't like Dim Dream too much, so. months we're talking fucking months we're talking fucking months man